Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I just wanted to quickly show you how to fix that annoying invalid machine key error. So I'm going to show you a couple of reasons why you might get the invalid machine code error. And I'm going to connect here, and you are going to see that I get the invalid machine key code. Okay, for the first reason is this machine code here, you may not have typed it in or copied it correctly. Don't type it copy it. Um, if you put some non-standard characters in there or some white space, it's going to be a problem. So whenever you see your machine right here, machines, make sure you copy that to the clipboard, go back to the UiPath Assistant and make sure that the correct name is pasted in there. Now, the other problem is uh, just configuring the machine. So when you configure a machine, and let me just edit it here, you notice the name of this machine is desktop, but the name in UiPath Orchestrator is ThinkStation. That's the, actually the name of the computer that I'm trying to link to here. And if you go into the DOS prompt and you type in hostname, you'll see that my hostname is ThinkStation. And so if the host name is ThinkStation, you want to make sure that you've created the computer named ThinkStation as well. So I'm going to delete this, just put that into the garbage can, and I'm going to create a brand new machine right now. I'm just going to use the template, but this time I'm going to call it ThinkStation. And it'll be the ThinkStation computer and put in an attended license there and a testing runtime. And I'm only allowed one provision that server and now I've got my ThinkStation which matches the host name right here when I issue the host name command. You can also do that with who am I and you'll see not only the name of the computer but also the username that I'm currently logged in with. So now I'm going to copy that. So that's now copied. I'm going to go back to UiPath Assistant and I'm going to copy that name in. I'll click connect and then magically we will connect to the server and my invalid machine key error is gone. And there you go. That's how you fix the invalid machine key error in UiPath. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you check out all the other resources on UiPath, DevOps, and enterprise software development on theserverside.com. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.